So the cameraman suggested that I unbox these two processors together because they're very similar, but I said no. This is going to be the unboxing of the Intel Core i7-875K LGA 1156 processor. This is, as I mentioned in my NCIX Tech Tips episode about overclocking this chip, one of the coolest things out of Intel in probably forever. This thing is so sweet because it is unlocked. Now, unlike AMD, Intel hasn't really figured out the performance cool looking box. They've still got their standard blue and gray box, but that's their corporate colors. No, no, there are scissors here. Cameraman's trying to hand me a pen to open the box, but I, I had a plan already. I was, I was checking over there for the scissors actually while I was doing the introduction for this video. So, okay, here, let's have a look at what it features. So Intel Turbo Boost technology, Intel Hyper Threading technology, Smart Cache, integrated memory controller, dual channel DDR3, LGA 1156 socket, and this, this is a new one. I haven't seen this on a retail chip from Intel except their mobile processors. Thermal solution required. This tiny box does not include a heatsink. You have to get your own heatsink. Oh, graphics card required. That's a cryptic thing for them to put on the uh, side of the processor box, but uh, I guess their, their dual cores do include a graphics core if you have an H55 board. Okay, fine. Touche Intel, touche. So let's see what we've got included here. We've got a regular Core i7 badge. I wouldn't have minded seeing like an unlocked edition or something on there, but it is what it is. Three year limited warranty. Now this is a cool one too, because it used to be you had to use a standard Intel OEM heatsink in order to even qualify for their three year warranty on a retail chip. Now you don't because they're requiring you to use a different one. Um, yeah, a little bit more on Intel not including a, uh, a heatsink. This is the standard LGA 1156 heatsink. This thing sucks. This thing is designed for overclocking and this is not good for overclocking. So as far as I'm concerned, you're not losing out on anything by them not including this thing because you just throw it away anyway. So here is the CPU itself. Okay, it is a quad core. It runs at 2.93 gigahertz. It has eight megs of cache, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out here. Other than the fact that Intel's worked their magic special sauce into the inside to make it unlocked, which means you can adjust the multiplier up and down. You do not have to adjust the base clock in order to overclock this chip. It is the same as the i7-870. So it has 1,156 pads on the bottom, and it has turbo boost and all that good stuff. Now, the one really, really cool thing about this besides just regular overclocking unlocked overclocking which we've had on AMD black editions as well as Intel extreme editions for quite some time is the fact that you can overclock using turbo boost and you should check out my my uh, video on my NCIX com channel to show you exactly how to do that so thank you for checking out my unboxing of the i7 875k